Hey guys. Hey Gallivanters. So we are here in Belfast at the Titanic Museum. It's a windy, cloudy, cold, <laughs> misty kind of day. But uh, yeah, so we did the museum and it was interesting. He gave a lot of history, um, obviously not only of the Titanic, but of the ship builders and the White Star Line and um, just, a, just a lot of interesting stuff. So we got quite a bit of footage in there. We hope you guys enjoy it and we will see y'all later. Titanic Belfast is located 100 meters in front of where Titanic's Hall was constructed and launched. To its right is the drawing office where she was designed and to the left is the Victoria Channel from where she first set sail. The external facade replicates four 27 meter or 90 foot high halls. Titanic Belfast is an iconic six-floor building featuring nine interpretive and interactive galleries that explore the sights, sounds, smells, and stories of Titanic. It took us probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours, to go through the entire gallery. I think there's nine galleries. They even talk a lot about Belfast itself as a city during the turn of the 20th century. Tobacco, I know, was a big product there. Yeah, their, their industries at that time, it was tobacco, they had um, like rope, I guess maybe you'd call it rope, rope making. Rope making. Yep. And they also had, of course, shipbuilding. The museum also includes encounters with individuals who tell stories such as the chief designer, members of the Harland and Wolf Guarantee Group, along with local craftsmen and passengers. His lordship was talking about the largest dry dock in Belfast. Enormous gantries, a dry dock built for a ship that hadn't even been built yet. Inside the museum, they have what they call the shipyard ride, where you can join the H and W workers to be taken on a shipyard journey, exploring complex process and challenges of building the Olympic class liners. And on that ride, I mean, you could, the sounds, you would hear the background noise and the guys talking and even smell, they had yeah, some kind of smell smells. piped Whether in. Like yeah. a smoky smell yeah. or a sea smell or. <laughs> yeah, we really, and we did not know that that ride existed. And it was, uh, it was, it was an interesting part of the, the tour. It was. I work as a heater boy. You had to heat the rivets on a wee plate. You pumped the bellows till the rivet was white hot. Then you get a hold of it with your tongs and throw it up to the catcher. And he put it in the hole in the plate for the holder up. There were two of us on the other side of the plate to hold it up. I had to hammer the rivets so it filled the hole before it turned dull red. The rest of the rivet squad all had to fit into that gap. You can explore every detail of the Titanic's construction from a computer fly-through from keel to bridge to replicas of the passenger accommodation. And they had one, I think they had a replica of every class of stateroom, didn't yes. they? Yes, yes. Um, with just a ton of artifacts from that had been recovered uh, from that period. And it was just really interesting to see um, the dichotomy of the different right. different classes of staterooms throughout.
we've actually gone to different Titanic museums, um, you know, all around, I guess predominantly. Exhibits. Yeah, exhibits. But this one obviously was by far the best and um, really tells you the entire story of, you know, it wasn't just about the ship. It was really the entire city that took on the making of the Titanic and, you know, the Industrial Revolution that was going on during that time. So it's a, it's just an interesting overall museum that we would highly recommend you visit when you go to Belfast. It is, we believe, definitely a must. Yes, for sure. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also ring the bell. Dingy dong. So you'll be the first to know when we release new content. And just remember, until next time, live your best life. Bye, y'all. See ya.